the video, Jazz reacts to Ben Shapiro, Candace Owens, Matt Walsh, and other people. The ally, the chaperone, the cameraman, all known as Sander, is there because he has nothing better to do with his life, of course. I guess he is Jazz's media team. Who knows? So let's start with the conversation of Jazz basically saying that people are misgendering him. And I'm here to say that Jazz, they're not misgendering you. You are misgendering yourself. This video was basically a cleanup video essentially to wipe away that viral clip that went crazy when Jazz stated he didn't feel like himself and Jeanette was like, oh, we've been here before. Like, babe, you ain't been here before. Jazz has been here before. You haven't been here before. I've always stated that I think Jazz's mental health issues started with the hormone blockers, but you know I'm the enemy here. Jazz says the bottom surgery brought him nothing but joy and happiness. If you say it long enough, it will start to become believable, but I smell lies to cover up the truth of you being actually miserable, Jazz. Jazz says he lacks clarity at times and essentially had a moment of hardship, but Jazz, you seem to have a lot of those moments. You remember the season of I Am Jazz when you talked about randomly taking off your clothes while having, I think it was dinner with your family. Some people would say that you were allegedly having an episode or a meltdown or another breakdown. And Jazz, we have witnessed you have a lot of breakdowns over the years. And you know, the viewers like myself have taken note of this, okay? We have taken note of Jeanette's manipulation and forced tears the same way that we have taken note that you always look miserable and sad as hell to be somebody who's quote unquote happy and filled with joy okay i am glad that jazz stated he's presenting as a woman because that's exactly what this is a presentation and not reality okay first we have matt walsh who stated jazz is being brainwashed by jeanette which he is in my honest opinion but then jazz tries to combat his argument by saying matt is attacking their community when we know for a fact that the community is toxic as hell okay next we have a youtuber who's against jazz being allowed to take hormone blockers as a child and jazz tells us that gender affirming care saves transgender lives okay jazz more like ruins more lives that study that Jazz showed of only 1% regret when it came to transgender surgeries looks skewed as hell. I don't for one minute believe that only 1% of transgenders regret the surgery. Like Jazz, like what? But I just feel like it's just such a fake study. Like you are just so full of ish and you are promoting this crap and you don't even believe it deep down in your heart, Jazz. Like that is what pisses me off. Like you are so full of shit right now for even putting that on the screen you and sander your cameraman slash ally slash chaperone like really one percent come on jazz we the public here because you and jeanette are trying to recruit more innocent souls into a life of sorrow that's why we care next we have candace owens who talks about five-year-old jazz saying he wants to be a boy and that's all it took for jeanette to start the transition jazz says he had to go to medical professionals he was encouraged by Jeanette he's so blessed to be a woman and that he got the boobies he's always wanted like I cringed on that part with the boobies like Jazz needs serious help Jazz needs serious psychiatric help like this video he made trying to defend Jeanette did not help one bit it just made me cringe okay it made me uncomfortable Jazz refers back to the youtuber and then says that he's a hypocrite for monetizing the video with a sponsored ad while talking about Jazz and that the YouTuber is the abuser, not Jeanette. Jazz needs to stop lying when he says that they've never been in it for the fame or the money. Because I just feel like people's opinions about the community are constantly being attacked when you don't support Jazz's opinions. Y'all are in it for something, that's for sure. Next, we have Ben Shapiro saying Jazz's parents are abusers and he promotes life insurance while saying this.
this. So everybody else is the problem in Jazz's eyes because they have a different perspective on the trans issues, of course. Some random transgender starts talking in the background while Jazz is talking, and then he pops up on the screen next to Jazz and tells us he had the same story as Jazz but was beaten when he told his parents like, boy bye. This dude tells us he's proud of Jazz's parents. Here we go with the waterworks. I guess Jazz needed extra backup because Jazz always needs extra backup, I guess, to not say the wrong things that may offend the community. I, I don't know. Somebody's always watching Jazz. Yes, Jazz, please define yourself. Jazz tells us that he defines himself, but unfortunately, we do know your life and we do know your personal business because you put it on TLC for millions of people to view and dissect. So how are you going to tell us that we don't know your life? Unless you're low-key telling us that what we see on TV is fake. Which, you know, a lot of us have, you know, taken note of the fraudulent activities that you guys put on your TV show, I Am Jazz. So essentially, you're telling us that we don't truly know you, okay? No one can tear down your community because you all do that yourself when you attack those within your community that have different opinions of course jazz your words say one thing but your eyes say something else and on that note boy bye